Oh guys, I feel like I have not picked up this camera in dumb long. Way too long. But we're back. Um, it has been a very, very eventful past month for me because I've been in school, I've been working as well, I've been trying to keep up with my TikTok and my YouTube and it has been very, very hard. So that's why I have not been as active on my YouTube. But I have been active on my spam, so if y'all are ever like, girl, where she go? Just go request the spam and you'll probably get your answer over there. But anyways, hey! Oh my God. See, I did film like on my birthday, like my birthday weekend, but I didn't like the footage. So I'm like, you know what, scratch that. I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a banger for these next few days because your girl is going to New York. Yes, I'm going back to the city. I'm going back to my roots. If y'all didn't know, I was born in New York. I was born in Long Island, but I didn't grow up there. So it's my roots, but it's not like my roots roots. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, me and my homegirl, Lena. This was so impulsive. We literally scheduled this trip like three weeks ago and we're like, okay, let's go to New York. Let's just live life. Like, let's just, you know, take a risk, get a hotel, pack some bags, catch a flight, and let's just go have fun and just be young and current. You know what I'm saying? Literally drained my savings though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I had to reach for my savings for this trip, but I haven't seen Lena in quite some time, so I am very excited to go on this trip with her. She is a childhood friend, and I'm just so, I'm so excited. But we gotta pack, we gotta pack. So this is gonna be basically me packing and kind of like preparing for the trip slash like the first kind of part of the trip because I'm gonna try to make this into two videos instead of just one long vlog because I just feel like that's just gonna be too much and I feel like y'all would rather see it like in two different parts like kind of like the preparing process and like me first getting there and then like what I do there in a whole separate video. So today is Wednesday, June 29th. I have a flight tomorrow to leave at 5.30. So I should get there. I think it's said around like 9.30ish, 9.45 because there is a time change. I don't really like evening flights. I'm not a huge fan of evening flights, but because I am in school and I have class tomorrow till 12, I have to, you know, kind of just make do. Yeah, I just did my hair. I got my lashes done yesterday. I really like them. They're a little bit more longer than what I usually get. I usually get 13 to 16 D curl, but I decided this time I wanted to do 13 to 17 and then also add a mix of C curl in it. So this is D curl and C curl. So I believe the bottom layer is C, no, the bottom layer is D curl and then the top layer top layer gosh i can't talk the top layer is cc curl not c curl it's cc curl i'm gonna put it on the screen in case i just am not making sense it definitely looks more full so i'm kind of glad i did that because i feel like with the d curl it's short and curly so like it doesn't really look as full as if you were to get like two layers of two different types of curls so i kind of like this better i'm glad i did this yeah i got my eyebrows done um i think Thursday or last Wednesday. Yeah, so they're still looking fresh. You know what I'm saying? Like, period. I didn't want to get them done this week because then I would have broke out like all around it. And now my breakouts are kind of dying down around them. So I'm very happy about that. So yeah, we're going to get the packing. Um, I did buy some sandals. I bought one pair of heels. I'm not really too much of a heel gal, but I'm trying to get into it but I need to build up my heel collection. So I'm kind of just bringing sandals and like maybe one pair of heels um, because I'm trying to, you know, have some fits, but also have some casual fits because um, it's not like I'm gonna be running the streets the whole time I'm there because I'm also in school. I gotta be in the hotel room doing some work. So sadly, this is yes, a trip, a getaway, but at the same time, I am still a student and next week is my last week of school. So I gotta finish out strong. I gotta finish out strong and then I also decided that I'm not gonna do chemistry for the second part of summer because I just got registered for my medical assistant certification course so I'm gonna be working on that like online for like all of July and probably August and you know however long it takes me to finish it um, I have a year to finish it so yeah I'm gonna be working on that so I do not need to be no other course and this course already stressed me out so 
we're not even gonna add more stress for a whole nother semester of summer or school. Like I really do not wanna do that. So yeah, it's just about nine o'clock. I'm gonna go ahead and start packing. I'm gonna try to make it as quick as possible because I do have some assignments that I do need to get to tonight. And I wanna like make sure that I have as much stuff done as possible before I get there. So that way like the only thing I'm really doing when I'm there is studying for like my exams that are all next week because I have three exams <laughs> next week. So this isn't really the best time to take a vacation, but this is the only weekend that I'll have like the most time to spend on vacation because I have Friday off of school, obviously, besides next week. And then I have Monday off because of 4th of July. So it's just perfect. We're gonna try to pack as quick as possible. I'm gonna do clothes today. And then since my flight doesn't leave till five tomorrow, I'm gonna do all like my toiletries and stuff like that tomorrow. But I am gonna pack my makeup because I'm not gonna be wearing makeup tomorrow. So I can go ahead and pack that. But like toiletries and bathroom stuff, I'm just gonna set it out, but I'm not gonna pack it. I think I'm gonna write down though, everything that I need to bring. I'm gonna put it all in my notes so I do not forget get because I am very easy to forget shit when I'm packing so we're gonna go ahead and write that in my notes I usually do this every time before I take a trip so that way I can just assure that everything packed and everything's done and good to go yeah y'all I'm so excited I have not been to New York in um, almost four months so I am very very excited actually almost five months dang and I'm going to the city. Like, y'all didn't know, I'm like staying in Manhattan. So I'm getting the whole NYC experience, okay? Like, I have obviously been to NYC, like in Manhattan. I've been a few times while I went to college out there. But like, this is like my first time, like really actually exploring for real what's there instead of just like walking around and kind of just going along with other people. Like, this is literally me kind of like, picking my own things to do, exploring my own areas. I definitely wanna check out Soho. I haven't been to Soho before. I wanna go on the ferry, like, um, that kind of just oversees like the Brooklyn Bridge and all that. So I am so excited. I have a few activities in mind. I have a few food spots I wanna go to. I'm so excited. Okay, let's get to packing because we got some shit we need to do tonight. Hey y'all, look at my nails. They were cute, but now they are burnt out. But I got these for my birthday. Very simple, very cute. Um, I'm probably gonna get my nails done like again in two weeks. But when I get back, I'm getting these soaked off for sure. Looks very long, but we should be able to fit everything in this suitcase. It still has not hit me that I'm really going on a trip tomorrow. Like, what are we doing? Like, when I tell y'all this was mad impulsive, like so, so, so impulsive. And I was like, fuck it, like we ball, bro. Like, we really ball. So yeah, the plan is to only take that one big suitcase as well as a carry-on. Not a carry-on, but like a personal item. Like my tote bag, I'm gonna take that as my personal item um, and just carry like my electronics, my phone, my wallet, you know, the necessary stuff that I need to have out, um, carry it in there and be good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and start packing. I definitely stalled a little bit because I took a snack break and then I was making the list and then I was doing my skincare and then I was doing the laundry. So I had a lot going on. So now it's like 9.50. So we're gonna aim to be done maybe by 10.30. Um, I feel like that's enough time for me to at least just get the clothes done because we're gonna worry about the height tomorrow but I am gonna set that out to make sure that like I already have it you know arranged so all I have to do is put it in bags and then put it in my suitcase hopefully we can fit everything if we have to bring a second suitcase it's really not that deep it's just I want to avoid it like it's not gonna be upcharge or anything on me it's just I do not want to have to be carrying a lot of stuff at all like I just do not want that type of just no quick little update so all my clothes are packed i do just need a sweatshirt but i'm gonna be wearing it to the airport and it's drying so it really doesn't matter and i also need pajamas totally forgot about that just now and then i still need to fill this up with all of my hygiene stuff that's sitting on the counter right now this has like all my oral hygiene and skincare that's all like my body products and shower products i need to figure out which body wash i'm bringing i think i know what i'm bringing but i gotta go decide that's all my hair products and then this is just like miscellaneous stuff so like journals a book 
some jewelry, my tripod, a little like lint roller. I brought some melatonin in case I need some sleep. So next day, we got my little tripod. Like y'all see this? I forgot I had this tripod. Like it came with another camera that I had had like a few years ago and I did not know I had it. So I found it and I'm like, we're bringing it because I was dead ass about to buy another tripod and spend $30. Like what do I look like? But yeah, we got my tote bag filled with like my electronics and like everything I kind of need on the plane or just to carry and my brother just brought my suitcase downstairs but yeah y'all we're all tied it's about to go to New York Lita just pulled up yeah. period look at my mom <laughs> yeah. I love you too going back She's amazing. <laughs> right now it's 436. Yeah, I don't know who's I don't know whose daddy that was, but it's 436. We board at five. They do? Right there. Barbecue kind of sounds good. Okay, let's get Starbucks. First. I feel like I'm in a mall. It does. This is giving It's giving stone, stone briar. Yes, yeah, giving stone. <laughs> Ghetto bed. <laughs> Bro, look at the pillows. Is this good enough? <laughs> so this is our room, guys. Um, we kind of already settled in, but we changed the lights to white because it's the easiest to see around here. It's pretty small. Um, period. So cute. It's a very small room, but he wants to go out and get food right now. Oh, show the view. The view, hold on. Let me go ahead and show y'all the view. I can't really see for real, but y'all see that? It's so pretty. Y'all look at this. Good morning, guys. I'm going to be taking you guys through today's adventures. It's 10.55, we got some good sleep. Mm -hmm. Some good sleep. She got some good sleep. For sure. So, uh, as you can see, my hair's a mess. The plans for today that we have come up with is we're gonna go to Times Square, but we're probably gonna go there around nighttime, and then um, we're gonna go to the vessel, and then there's like a mall like right next to it, so we're gonna go over there first. But everything that we wanna go to is pretty walking distance. Like the vessel's only like 10 minutes from where we're at, and same with Times Square. Times Square's like 10 minutes from where we're at. Walking is really not gonna be a problem for us because everything's pretty nearby. Um, we're not gonna really be using transportation like that till tomorrow because we're gonna be going like more to the lower like side of Manhattan. So we'll definitely need transportation from. Oh yeah, we're getting tacos today at my favorite spot. So I'm very, very, very excited for that. We're like, I'm not gonna lie, like this hotel is cute in the pictures. It is cute and it looks like the pictures, but it's got some work to do. Like. <laughs> Ceiling is ripped off. There's supposed to be a curtain here. That light is about to fall, but it's like it's just no. It's minor stuff, but it's still just like okay, like <laughs> we're not giving <laughs> the ice bucket Simon in here. We're really the thirsty. Ice machines don't even work. We are so thirsty, bro. We never know what we're eating for lunch. We never really talked about that, but it's kind of like one of those things where we'll eat, find something to eat when the time comes that we're hungry. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna get ready. Well, I'm gonna like take a shower and then I'm gonna come back because. This ain't a good look right now. Black, black. Tell me what you see in me. Gotta be something different. Alright, y'all. You girls ready? Open of the day. I'm wearing this bodysuit from Maritzia. 
jeans are American Eagle. These slides are from uh, Nordstrom. And then Apple Watch jewelry is from Nordstrom. I think these earrings are from Nordstrom. These glasses are from Sheen. Outfit. Or oh, wait, hold on. Bad lighting. Top is from Amazon. I thrifted these, I think. And then my dunks. I don't know where I got them, but. Period, period. She looks good in one. Tell her. We're in Hudson Yard right now, but we're at the shop. It's still sweating, I can't lie. It, it was sweating, like, we were sweating so bad. Sorry. Chicken, she got a steak, so she finna try it. Ready? Yeah. 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 <laughs> she didn't know they're good. How do you feel, Ashley? Happy as hell. I'm eating. <laughs> so happy. I want a fitting with, with the brim a different color than the actual hat. Uh huh. Hey guys, we is fitted. It's the next day. We're about to go to brunch. Um, let me have Lena talk about her fit. Um, this is Jordan Co. It's my friend's company. We can tag them. And the jumpsuit is from Forever. Her <laughs> shirt is from Redzia. Kendra Scott necklace. Shorts are from Target. I think. Really? Yeah, from Target. Yeah. And then these shoes are the same ones I wore yesterday. So. Oh. oh, I forgot to go out, guys. I want to wear these Michael Kors ones, but they're pretty uncomfortable, and we're gonna be walking like a decent amount. Oh, not too much, but. Don't she look good? She look good. Like, come on now. <laughs> Thank you. Look at that, y'all. Oh my god. <laughs> After this, we're gonna go to Central Park. I'm with Ashley and Nene, Lena. Bro, why she going in my video, bro? Yo, we in the smallest telly in New York City right now. The world's smallest thumbnail. Call it right now. Look, smallest, smallest telly in New York City, man. I forgot to bring my camera to Central Park yesterday, so. We ended up going to um, Coney Island. Yeah, we went to Coney Island last night. We rode bikes in Central Park. Actually, I brought my camera, but I couldn't film because I was riding the bike and it was painful, so. It was like an hour long. It was like an hour and 10 minutes of straight biking uphill. I was like, 
and the pizza wow, yesterday. Was so good. So fire, but fit. Glasses from Sheen. I've never worn these before. I got these like about a year ago. Necklaces from Nordstrom. The set I'm wearing is from Amazon. And then I'm wearing like my Adidas shoes that I usually be wearing. My glasses are from Amazon. My dress, Amazon. Dunks again. Period. Dunks yeah. comfortable, so. Don't want you to off my plate. Don't want to hit off me. When I had my vision, you couldn't see. I'm off the bed of this. So, we're in Soho right now. We were gonna eat at this cafe in um, Times Square that we saw like yesterday, but we couldn't find it. And every time we mapped it, it was taking us. <laughs> She's literally. Standing by the freaking bridge. Um, it kept taking us to the wrong location, and then we finally found the right one. And it said that it was a 20 minute walk. And we had already went to two different locations, so we we're like, okay, bro, like, I'm done doing it. So then we went ahead and hopped on the train to Soho. It's 4.30 and we're just now eating. <laughs> I'm starving. But they give us this free circle to be for 4th of July. And this place is vegan. It's called Beatnik. Beatnik. So if I want to check it out, it's in the Soho area and um, I got a quinoa taco bowl which I'm very excited to eat. Something kind of fire. No. I forgot to show y'all the before. Ooh, it was mid. It's pretty mid. Yeah. Um, Cookie is carrying right now. <laughs> We're probably going to go somewhere else later and get something more filling since this is like 90% lettuce. It's a salad. It's a, a salad, but. I like that yellow one. Fitted, it's so cute. I've told her I was like, that's mad cute, and she liked it too. I was like, this shit is dumb fire. We somehow ended up at a mall. In a mall. Like we, we the train. yeah, we rode the subway to like the World Trade Center because we're gonna go to the 9/11 memorial, and then we just got off the train, exited, and we somehow ended up in this mall. just passed by the World Trade Center, like the little 9-11 memorial, but it was like blocked off, so we couldn't really do much with that, but we're headed to- But they just to... have things, so ever since COVID, they closed it from like 10, they are open from like 10 to five. Yeah, so, so it, was, it was fine though, though. we could still see it, but we're about to head to the Staten Island Ferry, get us some nice views, it's about to sunset, like probably within the next hour, so it'll be nice, and ooh, we're so excited. So it's just so like peaceful. Calm. It's so peaceful where Keep we're at. We're, we were just at Soho. Now we're like not in Soho, but like we're like way um, south. So yeah. it's just good vibes right now. Yeah, because it's not it's as not too busy. chaotic as yeah. the city was, bro. Kind of regretting like having our hotel. There. Yeah, we should. Times Square. We should definitely should. Next time we're staying got it in here. Soho. Yeah. I just showered and I got this little ordinary BHA peeling solution on. I'm using this as my exfoliant for today because I'm kind of breaking out and plus with me being in the sun, I'm probably bound to break out within the next few days. Yeah, the sun makes you break out. You didn't know that? That's why they enforce you to wear sunscreen so much on your face. Sun can make your skin break out. It's Shit, like- This does be burning all yeah. back on my face. <laughs> so the rest of the night, we're just gonna be doing homework because we're both in class. 
so you know doing homework studying all that um it's 10 22 we might get food we're just not like hella hungry right now i'm starting to get hungry but not hungry enough to eat the ferry was nice especially on the way back the views were nice subway was smooth tomorrow we check out at 12 so then once we check out um we're probably gonna have like maybe an hour to spare and then we're gonna head to the airport because our flights are around like 250 ish so we'll be heading over there like at least by one o'clock but yeah it's kind of a plan for tonight and a little bit of tomorrow we don't know where we're gonna eat tomorrow maybe somewhere like nearby as far as what we're eating tonight i have no idea because so like by the time that we're hungry a lot of stuff is gonna be closed like it's already like 10 30 so i don't really want to eat mcdonald's again because i just don't but we might I don't know. Hopefully there's something that's open. I'm pretty sure there will be something open. I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed, wash this off in a few minutes, and then start doing some work even though I don't want to. Okay y'all, um, it's 2.20 in the morning and I didn't even tell them. Did we even tell them that no, we changed we our flight? Them. We didn't even tell y'all. So, update. We are actually leaving. Whoa. Whoa. We are actually leaving at 4 a.m. here. We're leaving at 4 a.m. because we changed our flight from uh, 2 to 6 yes, a.m. in the morning. So it's because I had a layover and I was just like, bro, I really want a straight flight. And the straight flight that was the only available, well, the only available straight flight was like 6.30. So I had to take it. She got a 6.30 flight too. So. It's perfect, but we're gonna leave here at 4 a.m. Yeah, I can't do it all night. But I want just like at least an hour of rest right now. About two power nap, and I will, <laughs> I will come back when I wake up. Hopefully, I don't have a hard time waking up because I'm gonna have to wake up at four because I also have to get like all my stuff together in this room. So, dang, we're really leaving tomorrow, y'all. This trip went by so fast. Bro, we was literally it. just on the plane. Uh, got me a venti matcha, bro. Like, come on. When you're in the moment, you aren't really thinking about it. But like, now that the day is over and I'm leaving earlier too, I'm like, dang. I want to leave this hotel. Like, that's kind of insane. Just checked out. It's. 449. We're waiting for our lift right now. I was struggling getting up, but then now that I'm standing here, I'm fine. We ran into three We ran into some really drunk people, and it was pretty funny. Can we show you all the views? Sun's coming up. Views in New York. Sun's coming up. Period. Many hours later. And we are back in Texas. As y'all can see, I got a little mask on. And this company called Loop sent me like their variety pack of these like hydro gel masks. And like each of them like have different purposes. Like this one is like a bedtime one. This one's like for nights out. Weekly reset one, sunrise one, so like a morning time. The one I used just now is a clean slate because I really need this one after traveling and just my skin not being at its best and being in the sun and just this is kind of like a detox one that I have on my face right now and I'm about to take it off because I think I only leave it on for 10 minutes. But yeah, these are literally so freaking convenient because it has like two parts. So like this is like one part, like this top part, and then it has a bottom part and it's so much more easier than like regular sheet masks way easier to apply and it actually stays on which is wonderful because i hate how a lot of sheet masks they don't really stay on but yeah i got home today around like 10 20 like my plane landed around 8 50 and then we went to go pick up lena because she was at a different airport because there's two airports in dallas so i was at one and she was at another so hers landed like literally at the same time mine did so we picked her up dropped her off because she lives right down the street i came home and i was literally in bed from like 11 to like 6 and then i went and got food and then i came home showered and i've been unpacking but i really hope you guys enjoyed this whole vlog i'm gonna go ahead and close it off here because we're obviously home we're not in new york anymore sadly and that shit went by so fast but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my little travel vlog to new york 
and make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and yeah i will see y'all in my next video bye guys i can't even move my face but bye